Good morning. Let's just bring our hands into prayer at our hearts. We're going to just do a regular class today. Um, I don't believe it's going to be too hectic. I think it's just going to be a lovely Sunday morning class. For us South Africans, a lot of us have been on strolls this morning, so we'll carry that energy forward into the class. Connecting with the neighbors, it was very nice. Everybody was extremely friendly. I think people are so excited to see everybody. So as we come into this class today, bring your hands into prayer, bow your heads to your hearts and tune into your breath, in and out through the nose. Just taking lovely, long, slow, deep breaths in and out, connecting, smiling, and just feeling a sense of space. So giving yourself this time, this now, visualize yourself on the mat, be very present on the mat, feel yourself rooted into the earth, Feel yourself reaching for the heavens and just taking a moment before class to just settle, to bring yourself to the present. Turn the corners of your mouth up, soften your face, soften your eyes, bow your head to your heart and surrender the thinking mind to the wisdom and the love of the heart and slowly release. Bring the soles of your feet together, come into a diamond and just rock gently from side to side. Take your hands out to the side. Let's do our stretch this way today. Pushing your hip into the floor, lifting your chest, lifting your right arm and bringing it over. Now really push that right hip down and just enjoy the stretch guys. Lift the belly up towards the heart, push your back against an imaginary wall behind you and breathe and then we're going to take a big inhale here we're going to exhale we're going to bring our hand over we're going to go all the way around and we're simply going to make a circle to the other side push that left hip down into the floor lift up through the belly breathe into it feel sense connect and then slowly we're going to do it one more time on each side come around Bring it up, stretch. As you begin to stretch, notice that the body starts to let go of the tension. Feel that. And then again, over. And over. Good. And then come down and take the forward bend stretch. Just hold gently wherever your palms release and breathe into your shape. Lift up through your bandha, so lift the perineum, lift the belly, lift the chest towards the chin. Feel that sensation of the body opening. Shake your head gently from left to right and soften your brain center. So actually consciously soften your brain center. And then come back through to center again and breathe lovely long big breaths, Ujjayi breath into your body. And then very, very, very slowly come up. Grab your strap or your tie or your belt or your scarves. Keep your right knee bent. Take your left foot. Come onto your elbow and just stretch this leg up. Lift your chest. So don't round your body. Lift your chest. Push your heel away from you. Squeeze your thigh and breathe. And just get a lovely big stretch and then see if you can pull this leg closer towards you, activating the back of the leg. So you really want to feel that back of the leg. And then take the leg up to the side a little bit, over and across to the other side. And over and across. And bring it all the way down, big toe towards the floor. And inhale, do it slowly with a lot of awareness, lengthening this leg. So for some of us who've been walking or running this morning, it's a nice way just to release the leg and then lift up, lift your chest and we'll simply change. We're not going to go into too much story here. Take the strap over, lift the leg up and lift your chest. Draw the leg a little bit closer to you. You're going to get a nice big stretch. See if you can feel like you are opening widthways the back of the leg so you're really spreading that back of the leg then pull the leg out to the side and bring it over again 
and out move it slowly breathe with it enjoy it have a sense of oh yes getting into this leg breathing sending lots of energy down the leg lots and lots of energy down the leg and then up again and release and bring yourself back into the position that you were in before and just sense that there's a little bit of a difference so you always want to in yoga notice what shifts in you big inhale lift your chest exhale come forward breathe into it guys and just feel if there's been a slight opening a slight release and then slowly come up bring both feet down i'm actually going to do this sideways you stay where you are so that you can see take your right foot onto your left knee and then drop the foot over to the side push the knee away from you so i'm exaggerating but you really want to get the sense of pushing the knee walk the left hand over to the left then lift this tushy a little bit so you kind of tuck it under use your bundles and get a nice big stretch up keep pushing this knee away anchor this right foot into the floor and twist and enjoy just being in the pose you are lightening your hips out of the sockets your whole torso feel like you're drawing your whole torso use your bundles here breathe and then slowly release come round you're going to do the other side so it's the left foot lift drop your foot take your palm push your knee away from you come round push 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 lift this hip a little bit and then squeeze open and spread these left toes now lift your whole torso out of the sockets out of all physicality lightening the load breathe into it enjoy it's a slight twist here as well so we're feeling that and then slowly release come back and bring the soles of your feet together again and kind of notice how this forward bend feels now there's a lot more opening here in the hips you feel like you can get more down more open feel that connect to it breathe into it and then see if you can come a little bit further down nice and slowly slowly come up come onto your hands and knees uh, if you've got a sore knee put a, a cushy under your knee so inhale lift your left hip up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up and let's do circles and make these circles quite big let your foot even be out a little bit to really feel like you're getting a big big circle here and then circle in the other direction and then straighten this left leg behind you and bring it across towards the right and stretch make like a banana all the way up through the left side so just enjoy that curl your tailbone lift your belly bundas 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 and then slowly come back and take a child's pose for a moment and sense and feel feelings being the language of the soul what is the experience in your body neither good bad or indifferent just what is the experience what is your body experiencing sometimes we have challenges how are we coping with those challenges? How can we modify to make those challenges okay for us? So we might have hurt ourselves or we might be having a little bit of a challenge. So whatever it is that we challenged with, how can we work within those parameters to help ourselves to open our bodies and to release and slowly come up again? And we're gonna inhale up on the other side, exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up and down two more good now we're going to do big circles guys and let the, the the foot be quite soft actually so that you can get a bigger circle so let that foot be soft working into the hip 
You go in the other direction. Feeling that you're working your hip joint. Good. And then take that back leg and stretch it over to the side. And take a big stretch here. Big, big, big stretch. Banana your right side. So bring your right shoulder a little bit more forward. And then release. And let's lie down on our backs. Take your right foot and bring it onto your left knee. Take your hands through that opening and squeeze. And work into that hip. Squeeze into that hip. Be gentle with yourselves so though. Breathe into it. Feel. And then flex both feet. Kind of just adds a little bit more when you flex your feet. Notice that. And pull a little bit more in. And then straighten this left leg. You can have your hands behind your thigh or behind your calf, whatever feels good for you, and pull this leg towards you. Watch your neck that it's nice and long. Push your heel away from you. Breathe, guys. And then slowly bend this knee again. We're going to take the right knee over the left. And then we're going to give it a good hug. Squeeze it. Squeeze it to you. Really give it a good, good hug. Take your palms, palms face up. Take hold of your heels and pull those feet out to the side. So you're getting a lovely, big, big, big sensation going on through the tush. Smile. It's all good in the yoga hood. And then slowly release. Bring your left foot down, but keep your right knee over your knee. Bring your arms out to the side and roll from side to side. Just roll through these hips. Let go of the tensions in the hips. Roll, roll, and then roll over to your left side and just take a gentle twist here. Keep the right shoulder onto the floor. Breathe. It's a nice sensation, so go into it and breathe into it and soften. And then slowly come back, release and let's simply go to the other side. So it's the left foot on top of the right knee. We take this left hand through that opening, the right hand takes the outside. So you either take the top of the knee or you can go underneath the knee, wherever your hands can go. Breathe into it. And enjoy. Watch, watch your neck. So we have a tendency to do this. Really lengthen your neck. Close your eyes. Go into the sensations. Don't judge them. No judgments. Just observing them. Allowing them to be. And then we straighten this right leg. You can pull behind your um, thigh. Or you can, if you want, behind your calf whatever feels good for you always remember it's your practice so listen to your own bodies what feels right in your body is more right than what any teacher tells you so really go into your bodies and find what feels good especially on the internet you need to learn to trust your intuition a lot more because so we're not there looking at you and checking you out so you have to trust your intuition here what feels right? Bend this knee again. We're going to take the left knee over the right and just give it a good hug. Squeeze it to you. Don't judge the sensations in your body as good, bad, stiff, this, that, the other. Just let them be sensations. Allow them to simply be, giving them the space that they need to bring awarenesses to you, to bring release into your body. Take your palms to face up. Grab hold of your heels and pull. And give a good, good, good stretch here and enjoy it. And then slowly release. Put your, your right foot down. Bring your hands up to the side. Palms face up. And go from side to side. Just roll through those hips. Let yourselves roll through those hips. And then roll over onto your right side this time and just take the twist again go into the sensations that you're feeling through your hips 
and be content to simply be. Let's try and find some Tosho contentment for absolutely no reason, but you're lying here in this twist and you're lying your body just to simply be. Contentment, some Tosho. And then you feel more content when there's no reason for it, just because. So it's one of the yamas to, to practice contentment. And then slowly come up, hug your knees, squeeze them to you, bring the soles of your feet together and pull your heels into your tush. And just give a really nice, beautiful stretch here. And then let's take a happy baby, knees into armpits. You can either hold underneath your knees, you can grab your, your palms if you can, or you can hold onto the outside of your feet. What you want to feel is that you're pulling your knees into your chest, into your armpits, but simultaneously you're pushing the feet up towards the sky. So it's an isometric kind of movement, equal and opposite. Breathe into it, sense, feel. Good. And then slowly hug both knees, roll up and grab your straps. Lie back down again. Bring the strap over your left leg and straighten your right leg. So now don't let your shoulders come up like this. Let your shoulders be down. The strap doesn't have to be grabbed hard. Just gentle strap. Push your heel away from you. Watch your chin. Make sure that your back is nice and long. So yes, we're stretching the back of the leg, but we're also stretching the back. So we don't want the back to be scrunched. Use your bundles, breathe into it. The palms are lifting up, but the shoulders are coming down. The elbows are locked. Stretch. Back of the thigh is opening and spreading. Take the strap into your left hand. Bring your right hand onto your hip. Make a little lever here with your left elbow and draw this leg over towards the left. Now don't let this right hip roll towards the left. Push your heel away from you and you should be getting a really nice stretch here. Discover the spaces in you. Really go in and discover those spaces. Where are the spaces? Where can I make more space? Maybe if I use my bundles, maybe if I pull my tailbone a little bit, maybe if I make an adjustment with my back. Push your hips away from your shoulders, but then pull your foot towards your shoulder. So you get like a little bit of a more of an angle there, a little bit more opening, smile. And then using your belly, inhale, come up. Change the cross of your hands. Bring the other hand out to the side, the left hand, and bring this leg across your body. Now take actually take the left hand and push your hip away from your shoulder. So I'm exaggerating, but really push, push, push. And then readjust your, your spine, watch your neck, and then pull. Pull your, your foot towards your shoulder. So you're getting a nice twist here. If you can look towards this left hand, great. If not, it's okay, look up. Squeeze your belly, feel that twist. But you're also going to be feeling this lovely big stretch through the hip. Breathe into it. It's working a lot on the legs and the hips. Lift the leg up and then just take, take your elbows out to the side and just give this leg a good stretch and simply change the cross of your feet. Drop your left foot down, flex your left foot, rearrange your spine and your back. Walk your hands up but then pull your shoulders down so that your chest is lifted. Push your heel away from you and enjoy the sensations of your leg opening. I want to really feel, oh nice, the back of my legs, releasing, releasing the past, releasing the tension. Breathe. Going to take the strap into the right hand this time. We're going to anchor our left hand on our hip because we don't want this left hip rolling. Bring the leg out to the right. Now make your adjustments. Go inside yourself and see where can I kind of make a little adjustment to feel more. Remember to keep your bundles nice and strong, so especially that belly, you want to draw the belly up and under. And flex and feel and connect and breathe. What's happened to your breath? Have you forgotten to breathe? Breathe, nice, long, slow, deep breaths. Go inside you and discover where can I tweak it? What little nuance inside of me can I find? 
what little hidden passageway or secret. So your body can reveal so much to you. You've just got to go inside and listen and learn and look and be open. Flexing the foot, bring your foot back up again. Change the cross of your hands. Take your right hand onto your hip. Push your hip away from your shoulder and bring it up. Again, make your little adjustments. So be in the pose. So you're doing the pose, but more importantly, be in the pose and feel the pose is doing you. You want to form in yoga a relationship with your poses, whatever they are. And you want to feel the benefits of them and you want to feel all the little stories that they're releasing and doing for you. So you want to have this intimate relationship with your poses. Intimacy, into me I see. So go into yourself and feel what the pose is doing for you. Feel the beautiful sensations through the hips. Keep the belly nice and firm. Breathe. Should be having a nice conversation with your body, not fighting with it. And then lift back up again. Take your hands, draw your elbows to the side and give this leg a good stretch. Bring both feet up again and open the legs nice and wide. Really as wide as you can. Have the strap on the ball of the foot. So you want to push the ball of the foot into the strap and then just play. Roll from side to side. Nice big opening here, side to side. And then when you come to stillness, see if you can open a little bit more again, make any adjustments you need to to your spine, to your neck, and then swivel from side to side. So big swivels. And enjoy, guys. The big thing is to really feel, ah, oh, what is the yoga doing for me? How is it opening you? What are the poses? What is my relationship? Yoga is your friend. You want this union with your yoga practice. You want to feel this familiarity. And then open again wide and see how open you can make it. And then just gently rock. Good. And then open a little bit wider. See if you can open a little bit wider. What's happened to your bandhas and what's happened to your breath? Smile. Nice big opening of second chakra. The legs are working. Bring the feet back together again. Release. Bring the soles of the feet together and pull your heels into your torso. You should feel this really nice opening. Bend your knees. Hug them. Cross your feet over and roll up back into a seated position. Bring the soles of your feet together again. Rock from side to side. Find your two sit bones. And slowly bring yourselves forward. And just allow the pose to show you where you've opened. So be open to the openings in you. So, so often we don't acknowledge where our body is lessening, loosening, allowing, moving, changing, shifting. We just kind of like ignore it. So really as you come into this pose now, Feel how your body has opened. Feel the difference. Even if it's just a tiny millimeter, it's more than it was when you did this pose before you did those lovely big stretches of the legs. Feeling. All right, and slowly come back. Take your left foot out to the side, your right foot in. Then use the strap. Okay, if you have a buckle, then you have the buckle on the big toe side. Whatever it is, you want the shortest part of the strap on the big toe side of your foot. Then you want to take, so you've got your left leg out. You want to take your left arm and you want to hold onto the short side of the strap. Okay? Then you want to take your right hand and you want to bring the strap behind you. Push it against your back and open. So really stretch. So it's as if you're trying to stretch. Now, the strap away from you, push the ball of your foot, breathe into it. So you're getting a nice big opening here. Feel this opening. Use your bundles, lift up. Feel the sense of opening through your body. Bring the strap over your shoulder. Pull it tight, bend this elbow. Now, this arm here is going to take the strap wherever you can. So it might be up here, that's okay. It might be further down. If you can touch your toe, don't. Rather have it here 
I then feel, and I'm going to exaggerate, but this is the feeling you want to get, that you're pulling yourself towards that foot. Then what you're going to feel is you're going to feel that your right hip is coming off the floor. So push your right hip back into the floor and give yourself a good tug here. Squeeze the thigh and breathe into it. Then you can hold the strap with just your left hand and bring your right hand over. Lift your chest. Breathe. Lift the arm up. And slowly, slowly come up. Release the strap. Take your hand under your knee. Help your knee. So whenever you've had a big stretch with your knee, you want to help it because it's been in flexion. So you want to help it to come back again. Other side. So again, it's the short side of the strap. Okay. The short side of the strap comes to the big toe. And you hold onto the short side of the strap with your right hand. Then you take your left hand and you grab hold of the strap and you bring it behind your back. Okay? The strap must be on the ball of your foot. And then you open. Really open, open, open. So you feel your heart opening before you even come down. Breathe into it. Feels nice. It feels like the sense of expansion. That's what I want you to feel. Then bending this right hand, bring the strap over your shoulder so you don't lose it. Then take your hand behind your head and grab hold of the strap. So for you it might be here or it might be further down. It doesn't matter. What you want to get is you want to get that you're trying to pull your, almost trying to pull your leg back into the socket. This top elbow can be bent, lift the chest and pull. So you want to feel like you're drawing yourself forward towards your foot, but then simultaneously you're pushing that hip back down again. And as you draw, you're going to get this big, big, big sensation of length happening all the way through the left side. Grab the strap now only with the right hand and let the left hand stretch. Now pull, pull the strap with the right hand and then stretch the left hand. So the right hand is pulling in the opposite direction of the left hand and you're getting this big stretch. And then slowly come up, release. Again, help your knee, bring your foot in front. Take your strap behind you onto your um, back of your shoulders and then just squeeze it and give yourself a nice hug. It feels really, really, really nice. Breathe into it. Beautiful and slowly release. Release your strap and we're going to come onto our hands and knees and come into our first down dog of the class. So big inhale into cat and exhale push gently back into down dog. Stretch it out guys. Now feel your legs. Your legs probably feel really nice because you've done a lot of work on your legs. So kind of notice how your legs feel and then notice how your top of your torso feels. Breathe and notice and sense. And then you're going to drop onto your knees. You're going to take your left knee behind your right. Okay. And then you're going to sit on your tushy. Now, if this is real difficult for you, you can straighten this left leg. Okay. Knee over knee pushing down on your tushy, lift your chest, and again, we're working a lot gently though on the hips today, bring your chest forward and release down into Gomukhasana, cow's pose. So it's moo instead of om. Oh. Hope you're laughing at my joke. Smile, don't take yourself seriously. Don't judge yourselves, don't take yourself seriously. Some days you're better than others. Just be where you are today. Let the poses, let the yoga do you. Breathe into your back body. Open and expand through your hips. Enjoy the sensations. Make friends. Let the pose do you. One of my biggest stories as a teacher is to say, let the pose do you. The pose has got so many incredible benefits. Let the Pose, just bring all those benefits to you. Knows what it's doing. 
and then slowly come up. Put your foot flat on the floor. We're coming into a twist. Lift your chest nice and tall. Lift your right arm up into the sky. Big inhale, exhale, take it back. Now lift this chest as if you're almost trying to push yourself off the mat. Inhale, lift your left arm and exhale, bringing this elbow to your knee. Twist, guys, and squeeze. So the belly is squeezing left to right. Really get that big, big, big squeeze. L keep lifting your chest and enjoy the squeeze. Enjoy the sensation of the twist in your body. Move into the upper body now. So I know that it's, you're in a position for your hips, but still, now you're starting to work on the upper body. So move into the upper body and feel. And then slowly, slowly come around. Bring your hands on either side of your foot here. Now, if you can get down, even if it's one elbow down and one elbow up, or even if it's just mini down, go down as far as you can towards the floor. Then you're going to take your right rib cage and draw it all the way over towards the left. So you can feel how this is a big counter stretch. It's sometimes easier to get down on the right palm and arm and not the left, but wherever you are is perfect. And just twist, counter twist and feel. Breathe. And then slowly release. Okay, please don't take me seriously. Just have fun with this. The kids love it. Put your palms on the floor. You're going to not move your feet at all. Do not move your feet. Come up onto your toes. Okay. Keep your feet exactly where they are. Then go backwards. Swivel yourselves around. Swivel, swivel, swivel. And you've swiveled yourself back to the other side. So you should end up with your left knee on top. Again, if you need to straighten your right leg, do so. Okay, lift the chest and come into Gomukhasana. Breathe. How much can you enjoy just being? How much contentment can you find in simply just being? Being in the pose, finding the space of all is okay, being in the space of contentment, allowing, breathing. So we have choices in life, how are we going to react to the situation around us? And our yoga practice gives us tools. One of the tools is to find contentment, just because you're in a pose and you're just finding contentment. It might be your favorite pose or it might not be your favorite pose. If it's not your favorite pose and you find contentment, even more so, wonderful. So you want to find that sense, you want to choose. So it's very much what you choose to make of a situation than what it is. Two people can experience the same situation and each one can react completely differently. How do we react to a situation? We can't change what's happening in our lives. It's happening. We can't say there's no corona. We can't say there's no lockdown. But how do we choose to react and how do we choose to behave in it is what is our choice. And then slowly come up. We can choose to be incredibly frustrated. We can choose to be angry. Or we can choose to be accepting but still take if things do not feel right still sign the petitions do what we need to but don't let it affect your whole internal being so you do it as a witness you do it because it feels right and it's the right thing and it doesn't it do, it's not in alignment with your belief system but you don't let it uh, consume you and that's the big thing to yoga teaches us left hand up into the sky and behind you right hand up and we twist not so easy not easy at all because when it, we feel it's our personal liberties and it's this and it's that we get very pedantic we can still hold those opinions but don't let those opinions hold us oh, that was quite clever i must remember that one we can hold the the, the belief systems we can hold the opinions, but don't let the opinions govern us. Let us be neutral. Let us do what we need to do. But choose contentment, even 
in your protest. And then slowly come back and come onto your forearms here. It's a lovely twist to the other side. So we're squeezing out all the stuff that no longer serves us. Draw your left ribcage over to your right. Breathe into it, guys. Smile. So you're going left to right here. You're giving a good twist. Breathe. And then breathe. Beautiful. Let's go back to our original position. Bring the soles of your feet together. Lift your chest and just feel. Celebrate the openings. Really celebrate those openings in your body. They're so wonderful for us. And then slowly come back. Bring yourselves onto your bellies. Have all 10 toenails on the floor. Bring your palms into Sphinx pose and then curling your tailbone towards the floor. Lift your belly, lift your heart and breathe into it. Really get this lovely awareness. Now you're going to take your left palm and you're going to bring it forward. You're going to take your right palm and you're just going to twist here. It's a gentle twist. And then you're going to release and you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just getting through that middle of the back, top of the back, and then you're going to come up with your palms on the floor in front of you. Not very high, lifting, curling tailbone, lifting, release. Take your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, squeeze your shoulder blades together and lift your chest. Lift, lift, lift. Breathe into it. Lift some more. And then slowly release and bring your head down to the side and just let your whole body melt into the earth. Mm. Breathe. You're going to bring your left right arm through. Come onto your shoulder. Bend your knee and really twist over. So your left foot is bent and you twist and you bring the twist over. Try, you're not going to get it completely. Trying to bring this left arm onto the floor behind you. As long as you're getting the twist through the thoracic. And then release. Come back to the other side. Take the hand out. Bend the knee and come over these are gentle twists but they what i'm targeting is your heart because we've done a lot on our on our legs so i want to get the heart open as well but in a gentle way come back again and come back into your sphinx pose lift now you're going to find it easier to lift your chest because you've got much more of an awareness so those other two poses might have seemed almost e too easy, but yet feel what they've done for your chest, how they've lifted your chest. And now keeping your palms where they are, gently begin to straighten them. And then you can bring your palms a little bit forward, curl your tailbone and notice. Breathe into it. And then release. We're going to take the right palm out to the side again. We're going to come onto our side. We're going to grab the top foot. And we're going to just open. Keep this bottom leg nice and straight. Push your chest forward and open. Lift your belly up towards your heart. And then slowly release. Roll round. Come to the other side. So nothing too intense today. Just everything kind of more gentle. And then release, come back into Sphinx Pose and feel. Feel how you can lift up, feel how you can open. And again, lift up. 
Hopefully you're feeling how your body is completely allowing you to come a little bit more each time. And then slowly release down. Bend your knees, drop your feet over to the right, and then over to the left. So you're rolling through this lower back. Just softening it. And then crisscross your feet. You can have your forehead on your palms and you just crisscross your feet. Softening the lower back. And then come back again. Come back into the Sphinx pose. Lift up, pull yourself forward. So I want you to feel like you're pulling yourself forward. Lift, 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 lift. Enjoy the pose. Breathe into it. Curl your tailbone. So it really gives you, Sphinx gives you a beautiful opportunity to lift this chest, to lift from the back. So remember we try to balance the heart chakra, so the back and the front. Can you get the back and the front of your heart as balanced as possible? So lifting the crown of the head, reaching towards the heavens. Can you feel that? And then slowly come down. Take your hands underneath your shoulders, elbows glued to your side. Ten feet, uh, toenails on the floor. Inhale, come up into Cobra. Now, how much can you balance the front and the back of your heart here? So hopefully with all the sphinxes, you can really get that awareness. Breathe into it. Slowly push back into tabletop. Release your hips. Bring your palms forward. Push your forehead towards the floor and take Anahata Asana. Breathe. Come up, take your right shoulder and drop it underneath your left. Thread the, the needle. Now watch your neck, push down with your left palm and squeeze into that space behind the shoulder blades. Get a nice squeeze here. Okay, take your left foot and stretch it out behind you and see if you can bring it across to the right. So you're giving a really good twist here. So the right hand is going to the left, the left leg is going to the right. So it's like wringing out a towel. One person stands on one end, the other stands on the other end, and they each twist in the opposite direction. Feel this, breathe into it, allow it. Release, come back, inhale into cat and take it back to child's pose, just for a moment before we do the other side. Breathing, come back, let's go back into Anahata Chakra, Anahata Asana, so Heart Chakra Asana, coming down, rock the forehead, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Breathe. Come back up again, hands underneath shoulders. We're going to take the left arm and bring it through. Push the right palm down, watch your neck. Now push into the floor with your right palm and feel that twist. Feel your left palm going to the right, then take your right leg and bring it across over to the left, squeezing at the thighs. So feel this twist now, double twist happening in your spine. Breathe into it. Let it feel really, really, really good. Twisting in both directions. And then slowly release. Come out of it. Bring your big toes to touch your knees apart and take your lovely long big child's pose feeling that you twist stretching stretching into it breathe slowly come up onto your hands and knees again and push back into your down dog enjoy it guys okay you're going to bring your right knee 
to your right wrist for pigeon and stretch that left leg behind you. Lift yourself nice and tall and open your heart. So really get this lovely sense of opening. Curl your tailbone, lift your belly. Breathe. Okay, we're going to twist two ways here in this pigeon. So first we're going to come down. We're going to take our left hand out in front of us. We're going to take our right arm over to the left. Try to keep both sit bones as even as possible. And take this stretch and twist now. Breathe into it. You can release the head onto the floor. Then to intensify the twist, bring this left palm onto your right. Twist, keeping the left hip down, twist the torso. And really get a good twist here. Breathe. Bring the left palm forward again. Untwist yourself, bring the right palm forward. Same thing, keep the right palm forward now. Take the left shoulder and bring it down. Try to keep both sit bones as even as possible. Breathe. Then bring the hand onto the palm. Kind of you can even lift up and twist a little bit more if you want to. Try not to fall from one side to the other. Try to keep both those tushies even. Twist. Stretch the right palm forward, untwist, stretch both palms forward and take the pigeon. Breathe into it. Bring your hands back and lift up. Open. Tuck your toe under and push back into down dog. Keeping the belly nice and firm, inhale into up dog. Just to release the hips. Exhale, push back. We'll do it twice. Bundles, bundles, bundles. Inhale, come up. Exhale, down. Good. The left knee comes forward. The right leg stretches back. Lift up. Open. Curl your tailbone. Use your bundles. Come forward. Stretch. Leave the right palm forward. Take the left arm round. Now push into that um, right hip. You don't want to fall over onto your left side. Feel that. And then intensify it by bringing the palm onto the palm and taking a nice twist here. Make any adjustments you need to. Breathe into it. So this should be feeling really good. We've kind of worked our way into this pose with all that we've done in the class prior to it. So really make friends with the pose. Let the pose do you. Bring your palm, your right palm back again. Left palm, take your stretch. Imagine your back and just really, or don't have to imagine it, go in and feel your back and stretch it. Stretch it up. Make it nice and long before we go to the other side. Then you're going to leave your left arm out there. Get your twist going with your right. Breathe. And then to intensify it, you bring the palm onto the palm. Twist it around and get a really nice stretch here. Stretchy twist. Breathe. Smile. Make friends with the pose that's doing you. And then slowly bring left palm out again, right palm, and stretch, guys. Big, big, big stretch. Lengthen through your spine. Bring your hands back on the other side of your knee. Come up, open your heart. Tuck your back toe under and push your back heel away from you. Good. We're going to take one challenge pose today, the shivere twist. So, come up. And take your right knee to your elbow and then straighten your right leg out to the side you want to try and keep your hip and your foot in the same line then lift this up a little bit so that you can tuck your your left hip around come onto the top of your left foot okay 
and then dropping the left hip. So you're going to be much heavier on the right side. Try to drop the left hip. This foot and this hip are in completely the straight, same line, flatten. You're going to bring your palms forward. Drop your left shoulder as much as you can. Keep your right arm and then take the twist with the left. So making you into a real pretzel here. Breathe. Slowly come back out again. Stretch your torso against the floor. You're going to feel heavier on your right side. Keep pushing down on your left. It's not possible to get the left booby. Or it might be if you're very twisty. But if it's up a little bit, it's okay. And then slowly come back up again. Keep your feet where they are. Lift your hips. Then bring this knee back in. Come back. Bring your left knee to your elbow and then straighten it out to the side. Let the back leg float behind you. Flex this foot. Okay, lift this left hip. So pull it over towards the left. Then as you drop your right, stretch that back leg away from you. Come over. Keep your left hand straight and twist into the right. Keep trying to drop this right hip. Breathe into it. So we're ending the class with a big pose. Nice big twisty hip pose. Really getting into it. We've worked our way to it, so it should be feeling all right. Slowly bring this arm back. Try to straighten both arms. Try to drop that right ribcage as much as possible. Breathe. Slowly, slowly, slowly walk it back. Have your hands down. Keep your feet where they are. Lift your tushy. Then bring your left foot and come back. Inhale into up dog. Drop your knees. Come into cobra. Feel. And then slowly tabletop. Knees the width of the mat, big toes touching, push back into 12 point or extended child's pose. Slowly come up, sit on your tushies. Bring the soles of your feet together. Rock from side to side. Find your two sit bones. Lift your chest nice and tall. And come back into the pose of the class. And feel. Breathe into it and celebrate your opening. Celebrate how much further you've come. Celebrate how nice it feels. Move deeply into it. Breathe from side. Rock your head from side to side. Breathe into your shape. Find that sense of contentment. Feel that your body has expanded. Feel that there's a lightness in your body now. Beautiful lightness that has happened because you've stretched, you've opened, you've released. Feel how the yoga has done you. So we show up for yoga and then we surrender to allowing yoga to do us. It's ancient tradition. It's like when we and massage our feet and we don't know exactly which point is for which point trust me your body knows it's like these poses are six thousand more years old they know what they're doing for you so let them the more you surrender and allow them to do you the more they do so let the yoga do you fall in love with your poses have a relationship with them and then slowly come back up and bring yourself to a seated position. Find your two sit bones. Sit nice and tall. Okay, bring one hand underneath each armpit. So you're going to do this form of Nadi Shodhana. Where your fingers touch this fleshy part under your armpit, just kind of like you're playing a piano. Just kind of push the fingers into that. And you actually, that's those are Acupuncture points that open your nostrils, so allow your nostrils to open here. 
close your eyes and sit nice and tall. You can stop pushing. You can just push evenly with all four little fingers. And now take a lovely, long, slow, deep inhale through both nostrils. And by the way, if you don't feel that one of the nostrils are opening, just continue doing it. They will eventually open. So inhale through both nostrils. Hold the breath in your third eye and focus in on your third eye. Soften your jaw, soften your mouth, soften everything. Exhale out the right side. Inhale up the right side. Exhale down the left. Inhale up the left. Exhale down the right. Push on those points. Inhale up the right. Exhale down the left. Do it a few more times. Inhale up the left. Exhale down the right. Inhale up the right. Exhale down the left. Now as you inhale up the left, hold the breath in Ajna Chakra and just gently focus in on Ajna. And then as you exhale down the right, just gently release to about 20 centimeters. And then inhale up the right. Hold in Ajna Chakra, feel. And exhale down the left. Continue going on your own, feeling the breath within the breath, feeling that Nadi Shodana is doing you. So immerse yourself in the breath and feel what it feels like. Not what you think, but just what does it feel like? We know, if we want to be theori theoretical about it, that it balances the left and right hemispheres of your brain. Great! How does it feel to have that to happening? Not what you think, but how does it feel? How does it feel when you hold in Ajna Chakra in that one eye? that inner eye that sees all. How does the breath within the breath feel? What is the experience of seated, being seated on your mat and having Nadi Shodana breathe you, making it almost effortless? Almost like the breath is doing you. You're not doing the breath. And you should begin to notice a lovely sense of expansion in your body, a sense of awareness, a sense of connection. On your last exhale to the right, don't rush it, release the palms, and simply thumbs touching first fingers, simply breathe into your shape. Through both nostrils and out both nostrils. And again, invite that sense of santosha, contentment, just because. Sense and feel yourself in this moment in time, totally connected to this moment in time, Totally at peace with this moment in time. Totally allowing yourself to simply be. Witness yourself seated on the mat. Witness yourself being breathed. And then see if you can hear all the sounds around you without stopping your breath. So without holding your breath, continue to breathe and just listen very deeply to the sounds around you. See if you can hear beyond the sounds around you without holding your breath. 
and allow this technique to bring you deeper and deeper into this present moment right now. And catch this present moment. Catch it, sense it, feel it. Immerse yourself in it right now. There is nothing else but right now. That space of now. By giving the mind center something to think of, like the, the sounds around and then the sounds beyond the sounds, we allow ourselves to come deeper and deeper. And notice the sensations in your body. Notice this magnificent awareness of self. Bring your hands into prayer at your heart and notice how just this simple gesture, Anjali Mudra, changes the way you sense and feel. Bow your heads to your hearts and notice how this too feels different. The surrendering of the thinking mind into the wisdom of the heart. And slowly, slowly bring yourselves down into Shavasana for a few moments. Make yourselves nice and comfortable. Release yourselves completely on the mat. Turn your palms to face up. And let yourselves find the biggest sense of Santosha. The biggest sense of Oh, yes, this feels so nice. I am so content. For no reason. Just because. And the deeper and deeper you go into that, the more and more you're going to experience samadhi, bliss. Choose love. Choose contentment. Allow love and contentment to bring you into samadhi, bliss. Allow yourselves now to really sink deeper and deeper and deeper into your Shavasana. Letting your body feel as if it's completely melting into pure bliss. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Shanti 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 Peace, peace, peace Peace to you from you Peace to you from others and to others And Om Shanti 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 Peace in this universe beginning with each and every one of us Be the peace, be the changes you want to see in the world, be the loving. Very slowly, wiggle the fingertips, wiggle the toes, stretch the body in whatever way feels good for you. Wiggle, stretch, enjoy. Enjoy, just enjoy the sensations in your body. Go deeper and deeper into those sensations. And then you can slowly bring your knees and give them a wonderful hug. Hug them, really give them a big, big, big hug. Rock from side to side and feel your spine. And then slowly, slowly roll over onto your right sides. And take your yoga off your mat and into your lives. This is the place of transition right here in this fetal position. As we slowly, slowly bring ourselves to a seated position. Come here, Fox. Bringing your hands into prayer at your hearts. 
turning the corners of your mouth up, finding that contentment and taking it into your day as you bow your heads to your hearts. Thank you, my darlings, and have a super, super wonderful day. Namaste.